All right, guys, it's Date with Stephanie Line Aquatics. I'm here at the Hilton Hotel in Gaithersburg, Maryland, at the Capital Cichlid Association's uh, Big Fish Deal, the Big Fish Deal. Uh, don't worry, really the film in public, but we're going to go ahead and go around and look at some stuff. Okay, so as soon as you walk in, get this beautiful planet tank right here. I apologize for the noise in the background. There's a lot of people here talking and whatnot. Uh, don't think this was in the competition earlier, but it's a beautiful tank nonetheless with the rainbow fish in there. Let's go ahead and walk over here. So, here we have a frozen bear frog tank. And it actually won a prize for one of the nicest for the most beautiful tanks in the competition. Here's a couple of them. The other tanks we have. This is really tiny. I think this is like a one or two gallon at the most. Okay. Let's go down into the main section here. That bottom tank in the last few tanks that I showed was actually my buddy Chance's. Okay, Let's see what we can get into. I know Joey and uh, Rachel are still here somewhere. Don't know if I want to bug them though. He does a really good bath. It's pretty good, right? Watch what he does. They had uh, some really nice presentations earlier today. Entered the raffle, but unfortunately I didn't win anything. So you come in, they have a uh, reception table. Around that corner they have an open bar, which I took advantage of. We'll go ahead and go in here. So we've got your fish stuff. Fish foods. They've got like cichlid food, which I might be interested in. Uh, they've got lamb on this one, which leads me to believe probably would be good for pistos too. We can always try it out. They've got uh, stuff for babies. They've got stuff for veggie, veggie boars, as they're calling them. Uh, tropical flakes, freeze-dried stuff. Uh, really cool, just kind of all around. Uh, this was the set up by Batfish Aquatics that I am particularly interested in because if I can get it to focus, they have a pistos. I'll just go kind of go down the tank list here and show you what they have. There's a electric catfish in this tank. We've got some L52s and some what he is calling Olga Cory Cats in this tank. We've got some, uh, I can't read the name on that, but uh, there's some L234s in there also in the back, uh, which you might be able to see. We've got some ghost knives, Farewella catfish in here. It's like a little Mac Master eye right there that I showed you earlier. Uh, we've also got some marble hatchet fish, some uh, AP Mac Master Eye, uh, some Denison Barbs, Rummy Nose Tetras, some uh, L128s. I forget the exact name on those, but they're really cool looking. Uh, some Cory Cats in here. If we go down, we have some Betta Immaculata. Pretty cool fish in there. We have some white cloud minnows. We also have some ruby tetras and some purple amanos, which I don't see in here right now. They probably went pretty quick. Uh, some stone cats, 
and uh, I think these are the false zebra plecos in here. Um, there's some more pistos in here. Uh, I hadn't seen them before, the guy told me the name, but the name kind of rubbed off on the list up there. Uh, if you can identify that, please let me know. And then we got some fire red Aggies in there, those are wild caught. Most of the fish he said, uh, as far as the pistos go, he, he got wild caught, which is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we've got some rams in here. We've also got some uh, Pistogramma, uh, looks like Cockatoidius, Rio Tigre in there, along with some quarry cats, some rubber lip plecos, and cool stuff like that. Okay. I guess we'll just kind of go through here and show off some of the fish, the cherry barbs. The cherry barbs are pretty good. Uh, some Platiniata that aren't doing that well. And some uh, some uh, Cardinals. And that's what I'm interested in. The uh, Rio Corriente Pistogramma Platiniata. It's a really beautiful looking fish. Maybe not so beautiful right now, but once I take care of them, we'll, we'll try it out for you. Got a dry goods table, some sea chem products, cobalt aquatics, uh, easy therm or neotherm, and some new life spectrum food up there. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark. Go over here, actually. What are we doing, Chair? We're closing the bar. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Alright, guys. Having a good time. I'll check in if I find anything cool or new. There's going to be a talk coming up soon. I don't know if I'll record that or not, but we'll find out. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs>